for us. We have Petland here, David, joining us. Thanks for coming back. Thank you so much. And, oh my gosh, tell me who I have here. Oh, you so have precious. a little tiny schnauzer. Oh. Uh, that is a little miniature schnauzer, and then down here on the floor is good old Duke. And that's your guy. Yeah, this is oh, my Great Dane awesome. Duke, two-year-old Great Dane. Oh Same my Duke, goodness. and he's like in your face type of dog. And we love that. Yes. We love that. So if you hear any mic noise, that's what it is. We're just loving on these babies. Yes. Hey, it is June 20 or June 16th through the 22nd is Take Your Pet to Work Week. Yes. So we wanted to talk more about the importance of socialization of our pets. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great opportunity if you have a new pet that you've just introduced to the home. Um, get it around the environment. Uh, have it exposed to uh, people, different situations, doors closing. It is really, really good for the animal to be exposed, uh, desensitize them so they're well socialized and adjusted in what we call a non-sterile environment. So it really, really helps to, to do that. And, and benefits for the owner as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you get a little more control of the dog um, in places. <laughs> as uh, do as yeah, do proves me wrong. But uh, you have a little, little Duke's bit more like, control. I just want you to hold me on my lap. Yeah, on your lap. He's yeah, so he's past sweet. the lap dog, the lap dog days. But yeah, so the socialization, bringing them out into the non-sterile environments around the different sight sounds, again, is, is something that is key and important mm -hmm. uh, in the early socialization of your pet. Yeah. So uh, the national Bring Your Pet to Work Week is a good opportunity to do so. And we were talking about even in the workplace, this helps with stress level. Yes, yes it, it does. And mm -hmm. trust me, I know that. Uh, we are around animals all the time. I get to go home and go to my own little cuddle bug yeah. here, uh, but we're surrounded by pets, birds, rabbits. And so if a puppy is not your choice or a cat, or kitten, uh, maybe a bird is. Maybe a bird is a stress reliever for you. So having something like that in a work environment and then, or at home, if you're so lucky like I am to have yeah. them in bold places, they're really, wow. really beneficial. If people want to stop in and visit, tell them where you guys are. And uh, we're located at 9339 Kingston Pike. Uh, that's in the Cedar Bluff area. Or you can find us online at www.petlandnoxville.com. You guys help people start to finish, figure out who that perfect match might be for that's them. That's it, that's it. That's right. Well, we have all that information for you guys on our website, livingeasttennessee.com. We don't only have this puppy in house, we have another one. So we're going to get some photos up on social media for you guys to see and enjoy as well. Thank you, David, so, thank much. You so much. And Appreciate thank you so much. It's beautiful. Thank you.